Meanwhile, Sri Lanka has officially sought India's support ahead of next week's United Nations Human Rights Council session. The UNHRC's 46th virtual session is set forth in an anticipated program of work. The session will focus on tropical matters and situations in various countries. That is tropical matters. The spotlight will firmly be on the Lankan government with the release of long-awaited reports by the Human Rights High Commissioner, Michelle Bachelet, next week. Last month, Bachelet had called for an international criminal court investigation into Sri Lanka's Tamil separatist conflict. Bachelet had also called for sanctions against top generals and others accused of war crimes. Sri Lanka's record in human rights and related accountability will be probed in this UNHRC session next week. In light of the report and other troubling developments, the island nation now seeks India's help. Speaking to a local news agency, the Foreign Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Jayanath Kolombage, had confirmed that Sri Lanka has turned to India for support. According to reports, the Sri Lankan President, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has written to the Prime Minister, the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, seeking support during the upcoming session of the UNHRC. The Sri Lanka core group consists of the UK, Germany, Canada, Malawi, North Macedonia and Montenegro. The core group has reinstated the ongoing importance of addressing Sri Lanka in the Human Rights Council. The core group intends to present a resolution to promote reconciliation, accountability and human rights in the island nation. And Sri Lanka has expressed confidence in India's support for the sake of regional solidarity. The previous Sri Lankan government had co-sponsored the resolution in 2013. The UN and other aid agencies estimate that more than 40,000 people were killed in the final stages of Sri Lanka's war against the Tamil Tiger rebels in May of 2009. The UN Human Rights Office accused both sides of atrocities and now seek accountability. The current government, led by Sri Lanka Kodajuna Peramuna, has officially withdrawn from the resolution for now. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.